Yo, what's going on guys? This video you're watching right now is actually a highlight from my Lil Nas X Panini tutorial, which was over an hour long. I figured I'd cut out some important parts of that tutorial and uh, throw it out there as its own standalone video in case people are out there searching for specific things. I'm still experimenting with the structure on how I want to make these videos. Everyone learns differently, so if you like how I did that with the full long version and then these highlights, let me know in the comments. Other than that, if you want to see the full context, talking about the holograms, all the 3D stuff, and more, go ahead and click the link below. If not, not if you're looking just for what the title of this video is go ahead and enjoy the video hope you guys have a good one and i'll talk to you guys later all right guys so now let me show you how we can create this 3d rotating text and this is a really cool thing you can do with these holographic ads so let's get right into this and it's actually a lot more simple than you may think we don't need to do anything crazy with 3d let's hop into after effects here you see i've been working on some stuff with the ad that i was just showing you we'll get into that a little bit later we're going to pop into my hologram billboard composition that we've been working on here that we just showed you all the steps for and you'll see here's what this 3d text is looking like you'll see here is what this 3d text is looking like i just copied what they had in the original video and made the text say the world is yours and you can see it rotates around my body first thing you want to do here is add your text you can either click t on your keyboard or just grab your text tool on the top left Make a large enough box so that you have room to work with, and then we'll go ahead and add our text. So I will say, the world is yours, like from that video. Hold down control and then click it around so you can actually see it. So now what we want to do is you can double click on your text, maybe double click it until everything is highlighted. And you can click over here on the right to this character box and design your text however you'd like it. So you can choose your color. Um, for the font, I'm going with the Bugfast font. If you'd like to copy that, just Google Bugfast font, free download. You guys can use whatever you'd like. You can bump up the size of the text if you'd like. A um, little side note, if things start getting jumbled, just kind of stretch these boxes out so you have more room on the actual line itself. And now we're ready to create this 3D um, warping effect on it. It is more simple than you may think. All you need to do is go to Effects and Presets and look up CC Cylinder Effect. It's under Perspective. Go ahead and apply that onto your font. And now you'll see that you have your font in this kind of circle. And if we open up rotation in our effect controls, you'll see we can actually rotate on the Y axis to make this go wherever we'd like. So that's how we're going to add the animation. Before we do that, we need to go ahead and design this so that it's encompassing the area that we like. So first off, let's open up radius and let's kind of bump this up. We want a, we want a more wide radius, so maybe 200 and you'll see that this starts getting stretched to compensate that to compensate with the stretching you guys can use these little boxes here just to kind of rotate um, and see however you'd like it or you can press s on your keyboard you can also mess with the scaling stretch that get that looking however you'd like and what you need to do next is create the animation so go and select your layer go up to the rotation tab under your cc cylinder and then you're going to want to keyframe at your beginning position here or wherever you want the animation to start scrolling around. Keyframe your rotation Y. Now scroll maybe all the way to the end of where this is going to take place. And we're just going to crank this up so that this number is around 3. Um, and you guys can change this around depending on how fast or slow you like the animation. So if you want it to be a little bit faster, you guys can open up your transform options here. Click open effects. CC cylinder and rotation your keyframe if you pull that closer it'll be a faster animation if you drag this out it'll be a more slowed down animation so we've got that animation if I press play you'll see now this is rotating that's a little bit too fast so I may drag the keyframe out a bit now what we need to do now is you'll see how the text isn't really behind the place that we want now here's a quick and easy little fix for that so we're gonna position this where we'd like you guys can also use the built-in positioning here if you don't want to change any of the positioning on the text, but you still want to move where it is. So what we're going to do is select our text here. We're going to click Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to rename this World is Yours Underneath. We're going to grab the underneath layer, and I'm going to drag it beneath the me layer. You'll see me.jpg. That's actually just the picture of me or whatever you have in there. You could have video footage. Just place that below here. So select your top text layer. And what you want to do is you want to go up to rotation. You see where it says render? Change that from full to outside. And as you see, you don't even need to create a mask. It's just going to perfectly loop around because we have that layer over here, which is in the back. You'll see if I delete that, the outside is only going to show like this. But if we bring this back, this render is on full, but it's below the me layer. This top layer is just on outside so you can easily have it rotate around any subject you like all right guys so we talked about a lot of the tools used in creating this cool hologram futuristic environment we've spoken on everything from 3d tracking mm -hmm. 